Hey everyone, this is Chris from Know Your Why Recovery. Welcome to the second episode of Know Your Term. In this episode, we're going to explore the disease concept of addiction. In our first episode, we defined addiction and we talked about the idea of the disease concept. It's not the only viewpoint of addiction, but it's the most prevalent right now in the professional field. Going back to the 1950s, the American Medical Association said that addiction was a disease. Since then, many other professional and medical organizations, such as the American Psychiatric Association, the World Health Organization, the American Society of Addiction Medicine, NCAD, and many others, have joined in the viewpoint of addiction as a disease. So what does that exactly mean? Well, diseases share certain characteristics, and addiction is no different. So diseases have a biological basis. That could be the genetic, that could be due to changes brought on by use of a substance or a repetitive behavior. A disease has identifiable signs and symptoms. The DSM-5 and substance use disorders is you know, one guide to identify those signs and symptoms. It has a predictable course and outcome or progression. It's a primary condition. It's permanent, chronic, and potentially fatal, especially without treatment, and it's also not caused by volitional acts, right? So it's not an issue of choice or willpower. Now, this is not the only viewpoint of addiction, right? Some other viewpoints look at addiction as a developmental disorder, a learning disorder, a social disorder, a disorder of willpower or morality. Um, and some even look at it as the brain doing exactly what the brain has been programmed to by evolution, just a little too well, leading to some type of dysfunction. Now, the disease concept is very controversial because often people misunderstand it to mean that if something is labeled as a disease, it takes away personal responsibility, right? But that's absolutely not true. Like any other disease, somebody who has a disease of addiction is not absolved from responsibility of addressing it. They're not shielded from the consequences of their actions through the disease of addiction. And they still have to adjust their lifestyle to make for a positive recovery. I know that's a mouthful, but all of that is the disease concept in a very brief, very small nutshell. Right. Thanks for tuning in and join us. And if you like Know Your Why Recovery, visit us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or www.knowyourwhyrecovery.com and spread the word. Like, comment, share across those different platforms. Uh, and that'll help us get get the word out and get more people educated and get more people, you know, interested in mental health, addiction and recovery. And doing that, we can defeat the stigma around those things one person at a time. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.